One of the most important things we've done on our own farm here in the last 10 years has been plant tissue analysis. It's something that has totally changed our fertility practices and it's really helped us dramatically improve our yields. It's so inexpensive too. That's the thing that really surprises people. Wow, here's this thing that we did that cost $20 that just changed things. It, yeah. it was just amazing. Okay, so just to step back for a second, with plant tissue analysis, what we're doing is we're going out and sampling our crop. So whether it's corn, soybeans, wheat, whatever, as soon as that plant emerges, we're going out once a week. We're cutting the plant off. When the plant is small, we send the whole thing in. When it gets bigger, there are certain leaves. The whole leaves above that you ground portion. Yeah. Right, right. Then the lab does analysis on what is actually in that plant tissue. Because it's important to know what's in the ground for soil. We do soil testing, everybody's familiar with that. But in our opinion, it's even more important to find out what actually made it into the plant in terms of nutrients. I mean, this has just been an invaluable thing for us because prior to this, all we had was soil tests and we had our yield information at the end of the year and we knew what we had applied for fertilizer. That was it. We had nothing to connect the dots in between. Well, and it leaves you guessing because you get to the fall and you say, wow, my corn was 20 bushel less than I expected. What happened out there? Well, must have been more, we maybe needed, I more, needed nitrogen. more nitrogen. And you know, I'm hearing that from so many guys this year. You know, we had a little extra rain in our part of the world last year and boy, that nitrogen just must have leached down because our yields are disappointing. So those guys are going to put on more nitrogen. Well, guess what guys? With our plant tissue analysis, we're finding that most guys across the country are doing just fine on nitrogen. It's something else that's lacking. And it could be something, you know, even like a micronutrient, maybe it's zinc or boron that could be your yield limiting factor. You could put 500 pounds of nitrogen on, way more than you could possibly use, and you still wouldn't have enough because you're short of a zinc or a boron or one of the micronutrients or something like that. So you just don't know unless you're testing to find out. Just to prove this out a few years ago, we did a big ag PhD test on 650 different farms. And what we found is that over 98% of the farms, 98% in corn were short on one or more micronutrients. 98%. So yes, I mean, there were some issues with nitrogen, a lot more issues with potassium and phosphorus, but the number one problem on most corn farms in the United States was lack of one or more micronutrients. It's big and it only costs a few dollars to fertilize with micronutrients. So what this all comes back to is, it's nice to spend money on fertilizer, but it's even nicer to spend money on the right fertilizer so you get the most bang for the buck. Because what happened on our own farm is every year we'd get to the end of the year, we'd say, oh, must need more nitrogen. We'd put more nitrogen on, we'd end up with no more yield. So we just wasted money. Well, you think about it. If you're spending a couple hundred dollars an acre or maybe even more on fertility, doesn't it make sense to spend a little bit of money finding out if that fertility is the right program? I mean, how do you really know if you're putting five pounds too much or five pounds too little on if you don't ask the plant what's going on? The tissue sample costs around $20 per sample. Let's say that you do that for 10 or 12 consecutive weeks through the growing season to get a full picture for that season, how your plants are doing, where they're short in your fertility program, you're gonna spend a couple hundred dollars to figure out something that you're spending a couple hundred dollars an acre on. Like for us, it's a quarter million dollars a year or more on fertility. Well, wow, to spend a couple hundred dollars to find out if I'm spending a couple hundred thousand correctly, that's a pretty good investment. Yeah, so we have used this for almost 10 years on our farm, and we don't do every field every year. We only pick a few fields a year, and we'll take a couple spots in those fields every year, maybe three or four spots in some fields. But it's really not all that many tests and not all that much money we're spending, but it's just a way to get more information about what's really happening during the growing season. Because again, if all we have is, we know what the soil has, we know what we put out for fertility, we see what the yield monitor says in the fall, it just doesn't help us in between know what actually happened. Well, and we've got more information about exactly how to pull these samples right on agphd.com under our resources tab, where you can go to look for each specific crop, where to pull those samples. Well, one thing plant tissue sampling won't help you do is control our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to do that on your farm, though, coming up next.